But then she took a deep breath and began to climb the steps. At the top of the pillar, she gazed out at the edge of the world, where the yellow lip of the sun was just beginning to emerge above the horizon. Slowly, she held out her arm and with a trembling hand, she rang the bell. The sound started off very small, so that she wondered if she had made some sort of mistake. But instead of dying away, the peal of the bell grew louder and louder until it seemed as if it would drown the whole world in sound. At the same time, B saw her own life played out before her mind's eye, unwinding like a film playing backwards, slowly at first, then faster and faster until it was a kaleidoscope of images, and then finally a blur that faded into white light. I thought that my voyage had come to its end, at the last limit of my power, that the path before me was closed, that provisions were exhausted, and the time come to take shelter in a silent obscurity. But I find that thy will knows no end in me, and when old words die out on the tongue, new melodies break forth from the heart, and where the old tracks are lost, new countries revealed with its wonders.